So it like a man contour jock strap view B tutorial. Fold over fabric the necessary amount. Use weights or pins to secure pattern to fabric. Carefully cut around the pattern. If lining, repeat process. Stack pieces face to face and pin around outer edge. With all layers pinned together, push the fabric up under the presser foot all the way to the needles. Overlock the pieces together, making sure that all layers are sewn. Three-eighths inch elastic is applied to the outer edges, leg area. You can pin the elastic if it helps. The elastic should be stretched as it's applied. Push elastic and fabric up under the presser foot to the needles. Once it has been sewn a bit, begin to stretch the elastic only as you sew it to the fabric. Leave extra length of elastic and threads at each end.
don't cut extra elastic or thread lengths. Fold elastic to inside and pin in place if desired. Elastic will need to be stretched as it is zigzagged in place. The threads will help you get it started in the machine. Place the fabric under the presser foot at the elastic edge. Using a wide and long zigzag stitch, sew it down in place, stretching the elastic to fit the fabric. Use the long threads to help pull through the machine at the beginning. You can now cut the extra elastic and threads. Cut leg strap elastic desired amount. Stack on top of each other and sew one end of the elastics to the crotch of the garment. Using a straight stitch, place the elastic and fabric under the presser foot. With thickness like this, it helps to place at about the middle of the seam. This way, the machine has enough to pull. Backstitch a few times to make secure.
Overlock the crotch seam with the elastic to make a clean finish. Leave threads long. We'll take care of those in the next step. Clip the overlock threads to about half the length of the crotch seam. Turn them towards the seam. Fold garment over seam. Top stitch the seam allowance to garment. Instead of back stitching, stop and pivot to straight stitch across the seam again to secure. Cut waist elastic desired amount. Mark ends at one half inch and pin. Using a straight stitch, sew elastic ends together along the 1 half inch mark. Fold seam allowance back and zigzag to waistband for clean finish.
Mark the center front of the elastic waistband. Match the center mark on the elastic to the center front seam on the garment. Pin in place. Using a zigzag stitch, sew waistband to garment, stitching along the lower edge of the elastic. Back tack at beginning and end. Mark the sides of the waistband with a pin. Lay garment flat. Mark the top sides of the elastic one half inch in from the edge. Keeping the top side of the elastic up, match the 1 half inch mark to the lower edge of the elastic at the side waistband pin. On the inside of the elastic waistband, clean finish the raw edge of the elastic using a zigzag stitch. Back stitch to secure. Turn waistband to face side and zigzag at the edge of the waistband where it meets the leg strap. Back stitch to secure.
Turn garment to inside and trim the extra fabric at the waistband. Turn garment face side out and admire your work. Thank you for watching this Sew It Like a Man tutorial. For more sewing patterns and tutorials, please visit sewitlikeaman.com.